My name is Andrew and I call myself a motivational healer. I give psychic and mediumship readings. I teach spiritual development classes. I also do what I call spirit Reiki or energy healing. I like to teach anything to do with spiritual development, mentoring, meditation, guides, angels, how to connect with spirit, uh, people who like to develop their uh, mediumistic and psychic gifts. I can help them with that too. I was um, born in Johannesburg, South Africa. I uh, came to Canada at around 28 years old. I didn't know I was mediumistic or psychic at that time. It took a number of years for me to figure out what was going on. And I took uh, three years of spiritual development classes and just over time developed my skills. It started approximately 11 years ago. And for me, it was a gradual development. I started teaching spiritual development and then after moving to Brockfall I just delved into it uh, full swing and this is what I predominantly do and I'm in the process of just growing my business and hoping to see more and more people and teach my knowledge share with them the information I have and what I know and how I can help them so everybody every single person is psychic we all have psychic ability just different degrees depending on the person Psychic means you are reading and interpreting information and energy from the person that's sitting in front of you. You're reading the person, their own energy field, their aura. Yeah. As soon as the information starts coming from an external source, for example, a deceased loved one steps in, or a spirit guide or an angel steps in and starts sharing the information, that's when it goes from psychic to mediumistic. If I want to read or tap into, I actually have to make a conscious effort and open up the, the doorway between myself and spirit and say, okay, now I want to connect who's with us. Uh, so for me, the way it works is I have to make an effort to let spirit in. Strengths are clear cognizance and clairvoyance. While I was studying and taking spiritual development classes, I started to learn how to give messages and they would develop and become a little bit more pronounced, more information. And then sometimes I would see who the messages were coming from. And it was going to mediumistic, um, the mediumistic connection from outside sources. And then the people that were training me would ask me when I was going to start doing private readings for people. And I never was comfortable with it in the beginning. And after a while, after giving a certain number of readings and getting validation from people, I started to realize that it was genuine, uh, it, it works, I can trust it, it's not my imagination. And the more accurate I got and the more feedback and confirmation I got from people, the better I felt, uh, the more confident I got. And I quite enjoyed being able to help people in that way. So I decided, well, I love doing it. It's not really like work for me, it's enjoyment. Let me see how far I can go with this. And since then, uh, I do it as much as I can. It's just something I love to do. I get a lot. I don't see it with my physical eyes. I get everything in my mind's eye or my third eye. Some people do physically see ghosts or spirit, as they call it. But with me, everything is inner seeing in, in the third eye or the mind's eye. The best things about it for me is it's helped me to connect with a lot of different people. Or I used to be very private, very reserved, very quiet. And since developing this gift, it's almost gone the opposite where I take a great interest in people. I love meeting different kinds of people and getting to know them. I love tapping into their energies, sharing messages with them. I just enjoy seeing them feel relieved, uh, happy, uh, loved. Just ultimately, spirit decides what the person needs to hear at the time and who they need to hear it from. So I'm not in full control. I can always ask and request, but I'm not the one that controls everything. So what I do is I start from the top. The first few names start to comment, whatever they comment or post. And Spirit guides me to a particular name. So I'll start scrolling through the list of names and I'll ask Spirit, where am I going? This one, that one. And Spirit will either put a, for example, they like to often use a red X over the names to say, you're not going there, you're not going there or they'll circle it in green, or they'll give me an arrow and say, You're going uh, any little comment, they can even, it doesn't have to be a question, they can say as little as hi, or just a smiley face, as long as their name pops up because they've posted something. It could be a period. Scrolling and glancing down the names, I'll get a no, 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 and then I'll get like a circle around it, or, or an arrow, or spirit will draw me to a name, and say, okay, you're going there. Yeah. And then I will call that person's name and last name, 
and then the message will start flowing through. And uh, it's one of the most challenging ways to read, but that's what I love about it. I love doing it because it stretches me, it tests me, and it's challenging. But, and sometimes I'll see a question and I feel I would love to answer that person. I want to hear from a deceased child, a deceased husband. And Spirit will say, not tonight. You're not going there. They're not getting the message. And then I have to carry on scrolling. Because as soon as I start trying to push or chase a reading, I get in my own way. And that's when it gets sticky and then it's the flow and the channel is not as good and reliable. So I've got to be very careful and just go where I'm told to go. Okay. The easiest way to reach me is on Facebook. My page is called Medium Blessings Dash Andrew Spirit. And that's the page I do on my live feeds from. And they can also reach me on my website, which is Medium Blessings, one word, dot .com. You can easily access Facebook Messengers, the easiest to reach me, or phone call. So the quickest way to reach me by phone is 289-980-5065 or email me mediumblessings at excite.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So every Thursday at 7 p.m. on my Medium Blessings Facebook page, I go live for at least an hour and I channel messages from Spirit to all those that are tuning in. So anybody who posts a comment where I can see their name uh, potentially has a chance to receive a message from either a spirit guide of theirs or an angel or even a deceased loved one.